To finish up the portion of this uh, tutorial on how to use the Profus Detection software for the PS1000 scans, let me go over the remaining button pushes and it's going to go fairly quickly. I'm going to skip the extras for now. I'll come back to that last. Uh, I'm going to go to annotations. All annotations is, is if you have a spot on this drawing, for instance right here, and you want to add some text there, you can go ahead and do that and you can edit that and say uh, you know anything you want to say here. So if I say OK, you'll see that that annotation there is now marked as a number one at location and it's marked on there with that number one and that's going to show up in the report when we export it which I'll show you in a moment. So next you have your uh, distance markers. It's pretty simple here. I press the plus sign and I uh, just click and I hold and I drag and it's going to make a distance marker from one point to the other in inches. For me it's in inches. Um, you see it's kind of hard to see even when I deselect it. Uh, 24.6, I mean that might, might be hard to see. Remember you can always go back into your config settings, find your distance measurement marker color and just change that to a color that might be easier to see for you. I just made it black. So. That's what your distance markers are. Just remember you have to click and hold and drag. You can't click and then click. It's a click and hold. So that was your annotations. That was your distance markers. Now you have your drill holes, which is uh, pretty simple. I've had one in here the whole time. You see the uh, number one there. That's representing a, a uh, drill hole that I put in there. I'll put another one in, let's say right here. All you do is you press the plus sign. It automatically adds a hole. I can edit it and I can uh, increase that diameter to whatever I want. And I can add annotation that this might be a plumbing device or whatever. So I'll say, okay, you can see it, uh, it adjusts accordingly. And as you've noticed already, that is also gonna be in the 3D view as well. Snapshots is where you have the ability to save uh, a screenshot or a snippet of work you've been doing. So I'll kind of go into that uh, here as well. Just remember that if you choose a snapshot, so I'll go back to the, let's say this one here, this snapshot you'll notice uh, it doesn't have the extra drill hole, has a different annotation up here. When you change your different snapshots, you basically can now go back to your detection and only the annotation, the drill holes that were in that snapshot, that, that snapshot are included. So you notice that this snapshot, which was different than before, automatically removed the other information. But if I go back to the snapshot I was just doing, all that information that I had in that snapshot would come back up in these annotations. So you can do a lot of work with one scan, have a lot of different information in a bunch of different ways, and save it accordingly. Now finally, let's go to the extras. So let's say I have this, extra, this uh, view here, and I want to save, uh, I want to export the information within this scan. Uh, before I do anything, I want to make sure that I have the view set to how I want to export the information. Do I want a 3D view? Do I want a 2D view? Uh, where do I want the crosshairs on my 2D view? Where do I want my depth markers on my 2D view? Because once you export it, once you export it, it's going to look like this image. So you can export it a bunch of times. Just keep in, the, keep in mind that when you export, the image that's going to be in your export is going to be the one showing over here. So make sure you set this before you do export. So if I want to generate a report, I can. I can just generate a document, an HTML document or a PDF document. They're the exact same document. I'll go ahead and do an HTML just so you can see what it looks like. So here's the document in the HTML format. You'll see that you have uh, the report with the file name that you uh, were working with with the image. And if you look down here, it has all the annotations you added, all the drill holes you added with all the comments. Uh, the reason I export this into HTML is just so I can show it to you very briefly. But if you were to export this as a Word document, you can then go in there and add extra lines, extra comments, whatever you wanted to add, which might work for you. So that is what uh, that does. And you can, you can this is really nice to send a report off to a customer, for instance, with all the information that you had on that scan. They can see that information, all the annotations you made with any, any additional notes that you make after the fact. You then, if you wanted to, you have the export options of a 2D. This is just for the image alone as a PNG. If you wanted to, you could also switch to 3D mode and export in 3D, and you'll see it, it will save it as a DXF. 
which will let you import this scan into AutoCAD as long as you know the correct coordinates to import it at. You just have to scale it. So that's convenient, especially if you want to take this scan and design around what the concrete what's what what the concrete has in, within it. Surveying coordinates is where you can export the CSV of the surveying coordinates. And the surveying coordinates are essentially here. I'll show you if I edit the surveying coordinates. It's the uh, if you want to if you are going to import this into CAD or something like that, you can indicate what the eastern northern height coordinates are for the four corners of your scan. So that way when they import it, they know the exact coordinates to import your scan. So that's all that is. I don't think you're going to be using this very much unless you're using this program with your AutoCAD often, but you most likely are going to be, if you are using that, then you'd be using the survey coordinates uh, to make sure you import it the right location or just export the 3D model and scale it when you bring it in. That's fine as well. You can export just your annotations. So everything that you've done annotations wide, you can export just those or just your drill holes. You can export just that information as well. And finally, this preview icon is you can, you can, adjust what this icon looks like over here on the right 2d mode 3d mode doesn't matter once you set it that's the icon that's going to show up over here in your scan area before you open it that should be it for the rest of the uh understand how to use the software with ps1000 feel free to leave questions in the comments